Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to finish off our gift wrapping series. So today we're going to talk about making beautiful bows for your presents. And I am going to tell you right now, after you learn how to do this and practice a few times, you are going to want to do this all the time. stores and you buy that like separate just one bow and you just stick it on well this will be so impressive your friends and family will be so amazed that you made this bow just from a ribbon and you're never gonna want to buy those stick on bows again we're gonna go step by step about how to make a perfect pom-pom bow and how to wrap a ribbon around your gift you ready let's go okay you guys welcome back to my floor I think it's a little better lighting right now because I have my light on uh, again a disclaimer just like in the last video uh, please try not to wrap gifts while sitting on the floor. <laughs> I mean, I have done this in the past. It's just not the most comfortable. So uh, grab a seat at the table or uh, your kitchen counter. That's the perfect place. Or if you have, if you're lucky enough to have a craft area with a surface, <laughs> use that surface to wrap your gifts. Don't do it on the floor. It's uncomfortable. Um, or if you're a savage like me, you can do it on the floor and just ignore all my advice. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to put a ribbon around a gift and make a beautiful handmade bow that will impress all of your friends and family. It's totally easy. Don't be intimidated. You can totally do this. Okay, so first we're going to pick a ribbon for this box. Um, I am going to see what I've got here in my collection. I actually have some tool as well. Wrapping gifts with tool is actually really fun. We're using this as a ribbon. Um, but I'm going to use actual ribbon today because we're going to make a bow for it. So how do we feel about just using red? <laughs> red is pretty cool, right? Okay. So um, by the way, I don't buy Christmas wrap and holiday gift wrap and stuff like that at Christmas because this stuff is crazy expensive. So what do I what I do is I actually wait until after Christmas. Um, I bought this stuff at the container store since I used to work there. And after Christmas, the gift wrapping is like 50% off, then it's 75% off, then it's like 90% off. So if you can like get there when it's 90% off, you can get like this ribbon for like, I don't know, like $2. Normally it's like 15 bucks for this big thing of ribbon. So always wait until after Christmas, have it hang around a year, and then you'll get some good deals. Okay, so let's use this red ribbon to wrap around. So I'm going to just take out... Um, I'm gonna arbitrarily choose. I think that's that's probably gonna be enough ribbon to wrap around the whole box. So let me grab my scissor. These are really sharp scissors. There we go. I'm gonna cut off some ribbon there. And I'm sorry, my thumb is in a uh, has a, a bandage on it. I did have a little accident before I started filming this video. <laughs> just like in my last video, if you didn't watch that, um, I recommend that you watch that video before you watch this video. I'm gonna put it in a card right there so that you can click it and watch it but how to wrap the perfect box so if you watch that video you'll know that the boxes that i wrap have a top a top and a bottom okay the bottom is where the seam is okay so in this case we are going to start with the top of the box and we're going to take our ribbon that we've cut i've made a pretty long cut of ribbon here so i don't think we're going to run out so we'll start with the top of the box and with your thumb just go ahead and press that there and hold that there. And we're gonna wrap the ribbon around the bottom of the box. Now we're back at the top, okay? Take that same little thummy, cross that over. Now we've made a little cross at the top instead of at the bottom of the box, okay? You guys wanna see that again? <laughs> so we wrapped the ribbon around the bottom of the box. This is the bottom down here. And we're gonna take the long side of the ribbon and instead of making our cross at the bottom, which I think a lot of you are probably doing and it looks really unattractive, you're gonna make your cross at the top of the box. And you're gonna hold that ribbon, go all the way around again, back to the top. We've got some extra ribbon, this is good. And then I usually like to tie it off at the top here. And because this ribbon is a little bit papery, I'm gonna be kind of gentle when I pull it. And I'm going to just pull it a little more taut. I'm gonna make a little 
knot just so it's secure, okay? So using this particular method makes your box very attractive because the bottom does not have that little like crisscross thing because you did it at the top. And this little portion at the top here, this little knot is where you're gonna stick your bow. So this is just gonna be really beautiful. So with these little like end tail pieces hanging out, um, sometimes I leave them this long. This is a little long for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them the ends of my um, pom-pom bow. Sorry, I got my feet out of the way for you. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that they have really nice pretty tails. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this ribbon. I'm gonna crease it, bend it right in the center here. Okay, and I'm gonna take my ribbon Sometimes this confuses me, but I'm gonna cut like that on an angle, and you've got these beautiful tails. You see that? Okay, I'm gonna do it again to the same thing the other side. I'm gonna take my ribbon, I'm gonna fold it in half this way, and you can cut it as long or as short as you want, okay? I'm gonna take my scissor, and then I've got another beautiful tail, okay? So, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Beautiful tail. Beautiful tail. Okay. Now, we're going to grab that ribbon that, there we go, pull that a little tighter. Looks very cute. Okay, so I'm gonna put my box aside here. And this is our extra ribbon that we had before. So, for this one, I'm gonna get a little closer to the camera. And this is where you're gonna make your pom-pom bow, okay? So, I'm actually gonna put that aside because my camera is focusing <laughs> on the beautiful present. Okay, let me pull my sleeves up for this guy. <laughs> so we're gonna make a beautiful pom-pom bow. Actually, we need a couple more things for this. So we definitely are gonna need a pair of scissors, okay, a ribbon. That's about, um, I say this guy is about a yard long. Um, but he can be longer or shorter, just a little, you don't have to be so specific. Um, and we're gonna need also, if I can find it in my little box here, where did my little box go? Here he is. This is my little box of like extra gifty stuff, is some ribbon wire. Now this wire you can purchase from a gift packaging store, I think Michael's has it. Um, it's basically the same, it's like twist tie material, okay? So if you have some extra twist ties at home, like go with garbage bags, you can definitely use those. Um, but this is just dedicated ribbon wire and I just happen to have it. Um, so, actually I think this might be all the ribbon. I might have to buy some ribbon wire. My goodness, okay. So I like to just cut just a little bit of ribbon wire. You actually don't need that much. So this is about an inch and a half maybe. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece off of that. So I'm just gonna stick that off to the side there. So just right there. And I'm gonna grab my ribbon. Now I'm gonna, we're gonna make a pom-pom bow, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this ribbon around my hand pretty loosely. And I'm gonna make a pretty loose ribbon. To make big loops. Just make sure all your loops are close together, like virtually, you know, best friendos. Okay, I've got my big loop made. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the loops together like that, okay? So we've got this little loop-de-loops here, okay? So now I'm gonna take my scissors and see how they're very close together. You don't see any of the extra loopage. That's really important, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's, it's gotta be pretty accurate or else it's not gonna work, okay? So I've got this little extra little like weird piece. I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm actually gonna push it back. I'm gonna take the ends of this. And this is where it gets really messy. So I'm gonna get really close to the camera and everything's gonna fall down, but it's okay. We can clean it up. <laughs> and we're gonna cut a little notch at the end. So there's one little notch and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So let's turn this around. I'm 
and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut a little notch. Boom. Okay. So these little like ends here, they don't have to be matched perfectly, but they have to be similar. So see, see that? And now we've got two ends like that. We bring those ends together. So now in the middle, you've got some shape like that. Okay. Boom. And this little extra little portion, don't even worry about that guy. He's, you know, you can get rid of him. You can do whatever you want with him. So I'm going to grab my little ribbon wire off the floor and I'm going to wrap him around there. You know, in a perfect world, I would have cut maybe a little more ribbon wire. It's a little short, but it's definitely still going to work on my present. So here's where it gets a little confusing. First, I'm going to clean up this stuff before I do the next step. <laughs> okay, so I cleaned up all of the stuff. Okay, so you're going to want to start with one side of the bow. So let's start with this side, and you're going to grab from the inside one of the loops with your fingers, and then you're going to pull it out. Just be gentle, and you're going to twist it with your hand, and you're going to alternate sides. Do the other side now. We're going to twisty twist. And we're going to take the other side again. This is easier when I don't have a band-aid on one of my fingers. <laughs> I'm really, I need like a real genuine band-aid. There, there it comes. And we're going to twist that guy. And we're going to take the other side and twist. There we go. And then we're going to twist the last one. And uh, depending on how delicate your ribbon is, is how gentle you really should be. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're gonna grab, oh, there's that little like piece. So just ignore that little guy. Grab, and twist, grab, and do a little twisty twist, grab, and twist, and then we're gonna twist the little last loop. So, after all of the little pieces are out, you can twist and sort of fluff it up to as much as you'd like it to be fluffed. And um, these little end pieces, we're gonna definitely just cut them off. So let's twist up this a little bit more and we'll get it on the present. There, I think it looks really cute. So we're going to take our present, and I'm actually going to cut these little um, stray pieces off. I'm just going to cut them so that they're not as out there. Okay, we have our cute little bow, and we're going to stick it right on the present. There. Now, I was really, really stingy with my ribbon wire. Um, in real life, you can use more ribbon wire, and it will definitely stay on a little better. There we go. But there is our beautiful pom-pom bow. Look at that, that looks really beautiful. You didn't have to go and buy a separate bow. Um, you just stuck that right onto the gift and um, after they're done unwrapping this, they can put that right on their head and wear it all around all Christmas day. <laughs> so um, let's do another one. So this time let's do a white one. So I'll do one, two, three. I'll do a little bit of a larger bow this time. So this bow is going to be just a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make a little, a bigger loop. Just be very careful when you're doing this, especially if you have a, a, a narrower uh, width ribbon. It can get a, a little bit crazy um, with making the loops. You can wrap this around like a brochure to make it easier for you. Um, you know, do whatever you need to do to hack this, make it easy. There. Okay. All right, so we've got our loop. And then we've got our cheeky little ribbon situation here. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit tighter. I think this is a little floppy. So, and you know what? You're going to you from your experiences, you're going to learn, you know, what's too floppy, what's too big, um, depending on how big the ribbon is. So, I'm going to make this a little smaller, probably actually probably the same size as the last one. It's just going to have more loops in it. 
Okay, perfect. All right. So now we've got our second ribbon going. So I'm gonna take my scissor again and I'm gonna cut these edges. Get close to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna snip and stuff's gonna go everywhere. <laughs> We're gonna snip, there we go. We're gonna take the other side and we're gonna snip, and we're gonna snip. Beautiful. And I'm gonna clean up. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got our cleaned snip sides, we're gonna bring those two snippy sides together. Oops, that little ribbon's coming out there. Just like that, so we've got a pinched center. And I'm gonna grab more ribbon wire. I'm gonna be a little more, um, there we go, I'm actually gonna cut this little, this little straggler there. I'm gonna be a little more um, generous than I was last time with the ribbon wire. So I'm gonna grab a little more. There, I think that's a little more generous. So I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna do a little twisty twist. All right, I just put lotion on my hands because I saw that my hands were like super ashy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing as before is I'm gonna grab a, pe a piece of a loop from the inside and I'm just gonna twisty twist. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna do a little twist and a pull. This Band-Aid is really cramping my style, man. twist and a pull and you can pretty much twist it any direction you'd like I don't think it matters I think as long as it's like different each time might be better but it's really it's up to you whatever you're comfortable with you'll find that as you do this more um, you'll become a better judge about like which way to twist and how much exactly to pull, there, that's one side kind of done, and we'll do the other side. And you know, you'll get a sense about like how much you like to fluff and things like that. Back when I was teaching people how to do this at holidays, I used to call it the froofing, the froofing. I'm like, you're gonna do the froofing, the froofing and the fluffing. People thought this was very fun. I also think this is a very fun thing to do at Christmas, is just to like sit around and make bows. I don't know if that makes me a super boring person, but um, it's part of, it's like my favorite part of wrapping gifts is like making these beautiful homemade bows and people are always really impressed um, when you give gifts with these on them. There we go. All right, so let's find the bottom of the bow here. Here we go, here's the bottom. The bottom of the bow has the ribbon wire on it. So I'm just gonna grab it and I'm gonna make a big, make this a little more fluffy so that it's nice and beautiful. This little, this little guy, I'm actually gonna cut him. Here we go, let's grab him and like cut him off. He doesn't really count, he's kind of weird. Okay, so he's gone. We're just gonna like put some things in his place. <laughs> These guys are like too close together, so we're gonna grab one and twist it so that they get out of each other's way. The more you twist them, the more they get, get out of each other's way and you can sort of fluff it up. So good, there is our second really pretty, really fun to make um, pom-pom bow. Good to stick on any birthday gift, any Christmas gift, any gift you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this bow making tutorial and I hope I inspired you to go out and make those beautiful bows for those birthday gifts, those holiday gifts, those Hanukkah gifts, whatever gifts, anniversary gifts, whatever, all kinds of graduation gifts, all kinds of gifts for good things. Um, if you'd like, if you're not part of the Hobby Home Family, please subscribe. I publish three times a week and I will see you later. <laughs> Bye. Stay neat.